Even though there was violence from Trump supporters throughout his election campaign, the kind of violence we've been seeing towards Trump supporters is not acceptable. However, it is to be expected. Not because the people are on the left and, oh, the left is violent, but because they're people. They're humans. Humans are humans. We can declare that humans shouldn't act like humans, but that's pretty futile. Here's a hypothetical scenario. Imagine if Hillary had been elected and she went out of her way to make it difficult for straight white Christians to travel abroad. Or she made it easy for everyone except for straight white Christians to travel abroad. And she made it so nobody in the government can state anything that's even remotely Bible-based religious. You know, to match how Trump wants to ban the government from talking about science. He wants to ban scientists that are paid by the government from talking about climate change and how he has made the EPA remove the climate page section from their website. Yeah, if Hillary made it rough for straight white Christians in any way, you can guarantee that Republicans and a lot of straight white Christians would be mighty pissed. But you know, because we're talking about Muslims, it's okay. Because look, 9-11! and any of the terrorist acts that have happened in the past 10 or so years here in the United States that have nothing to do with any of the countries that we're putting these restrictions on. Because let's repeat the same kind of lunacy that made us go to war in Iraq, a country that never attacked us. And let's not forget that in 2011, when Obama put restrictions on people, it was towards people who have a criminal record. And the restrictions that he shoved forth were in response to specific threats that the FBI had warned him about. Oh, but now the intelligence community is fake news because of Trump's alternative facts. If mainstream media says it, it must be false. And if Breitbart says it's true, it must be true. And if Steve Bannon of the future National Security Council tells you to shut up, you shut up, because he might be president one day and you better be careful. We can try to speak against the way that many people are reacting to this country going more downhills in 11 days than we've experienced from any four-year term of any president in our lifetimes, but it's somewhat futile to speak against those who are reacting so strongly against what they're seeing. People are pissed off, and rightly so. Yes, let's start firing people in the government who don't agree with the dictator-in-chief. Was she temporary? Yes, but she wasn't going to be let go at that time. Sure, let's threaten media. Let's act like a narcissistic tyrant and do it in a way that even staunch left-wingers will somehow go along with it, because to speak against it is hysteria and paranoia. Quite frankly, we haven't seen something even close to this since Nixon. Trump's actions show that he wants to replace the government. Does that not concern you? We certainly wouldn't have allowed a Democratic president to do this kind of crap. But you know, talking about it is hysteria and fake news. We should just let him do whatever he wants to the country and not say a word about it because cabbage. Never mind that the right wing and Republicans particularly were obstructionistic and paranoid about things that Obama never said he would do, things he never did, and things he clearly would never do. Then there were things that were reasonable or could have been reasonable that they just said, well, no, anything that he shoves forth, we're going to vote against, no matter what it is. And so we're supposed to pretend that that never happened and be completely complacent to anything that Trump actually does. Because, you know, we don't want to promote hysteria, right? Do you remember after the election, after Trump won, all these people declaring towards those like myself and many others who were mortified at the idea of Trump winning, saying they'd be there 
to speak against Trump if he does terrible things. Do you remember that? I sure remember that. I remember it well. Well, where are they now? Well, they're busy in denial, still declaring that Trump isn't that bad and that all of these things that we see before our eyes are just figments of our imagination. All of our experiences in the past and all of our studying of history, that, that's, that should all be thrown away. None of the red flags that come up with us are, are, should be considered red flags at all. We shouldn't have any concern at all. Quite frankly, the way some of you are acting is one of the major contributors to why people will make comparisons between Trump and Hitler. It's not so much the things that Trump is actually doing, though obviously some of it is, obviously, but most of it is how people will defend Trump no matter what he does. And now anything that's said negative about him, well, that's fake news. Great, yeah, there can be a hundred sources for something, but it's still fake news. I want to be involved in as many protests against what the Trump administration is doing as I can. Because that seems to be just about the only solidarity we have now. Trump's declaration of his awesomeness in him somehow being a great uniter and that he brings people together, that his decisions are really popular and are going great, is very 1984, where war is peace, freedom is slavery, and ignorance is strength. But in this case, it's division is unity. And if you try to claim that division is actually divisive, like we all knew it was until the Trump administration came into power and so many people put on orange-tinted glasses, it'll be time to redefine what divisive means in the first place. And then Trump will be a uniter by definition. Yes, let's, let's imitate the methodologies of the Reconstructionists and Dominionists who want to rewrite history, who want to update the past, who want to declare that the way things are not is the way that they have always been. And if you try to state that things are different from the way that they are not, is hysterical and verges on being treasonous or damaging. Because we all need to come together to support the great division. Because division is unity, unless it's coming from the left, and then division is actually divisive. But we have to put the very recent past behind us, because the past needs to be updated to represent the present, or something like that.